Hi everyone, this is Delusional from BYOAC.com or MaximusArcade.com and uh, I just wanted to clarify a couple people who asked how do you daisy chain because that's been thrown around a lot people are like what are these what is daisy chaining in general and what it is is so when you take a ground point in this case right here from your iPack or other controller that you're using um, and you connect everything all together connecting to that one point so that they're all connected to that ground because you have to ground everything uh, in addition to connecting it to the micro switch here's the ground and here's the other connection which goes to whatever button you're assigning it to or whatever keyboard button you're assigning it to so you'll see the wire come from here goes underneath and you can actually see the wire this is part of the ground wire right there and that's going into this uh, ground which they're all connected to um, I started over here on mine you'll see it only has a single connector uh, I'm sorry a single wire into that one connector right here uh, and then that kind of goes into this one where you'll see when you crimp it you're gonna crimp two wires into one connector here so that it's kind of like almost like two wires spliced into one so you'll start with one connector basically connect another wire into that going into this which has another two coming out and so on and basically you're just linking them all around in this case that's going to there and that's going up to here which is going to this one here and that one links to that and that one links to that and you know so on and just go all the way around you work away all the way around doing that see this one here is linked to this one here and that's linked to there and that's linked to there and so on so you actually have to in this case here you'll see there's two you have to crimp them both to the same connector uh, but you have to measure beforehand so you're going to cut a wire with this length to here you don't want to make it too long or too short if it's too short it's not going to reach um, so keep in mind it takes practice after a while you'll get the hang of it but you know, you'll just take the wire it's better to make them longer than shorter in this case here you'll see I made it really long um, so there it is here is another one here going from there to there so basically you just have to connect all the ground all together I suggest starting on one side of the board you know with a single connector first and then you work your way up in my case I started here and worked my way all the way up these are the pinball buttons down here that you'll see uh, and I always do this one last some people start here and do it the other way around but I always do this one last because you know once I do all of them all together it, sometimes I'll want the wire underneath or I can run it you know it's just easier for me if I just do that wire last and you'll cut this one to length from here all the way to whatever button that you left off on for the last one doesn't matter where you connect them as long as they're all connected together um, with the black wire or whatever ground wire color you decide to use and there it is so it's kinda simple hope this explains it a little better because you know I just assumed everybody knew what daisy chaining meant but that's what daisy chaining is you just wanna take all the ground sources on the micro switch or leaf connector depending on which one you're using and put it all into one source which is over here so there it is thanks